welcome back guys to yet another world of warcraft video on this channel today i'm going to give you guys a little bit of an update on what's going on with my alt army now uh before we do get into it make sure that you guys drop a like on the video and also subscribe to the channel with all the notifications on so you can watch all of the great upcoming videos towards the launch of dragonflight but also with the launch of dragonflight because we're going to be making a ton of gold making really content and you're not going to want to miss it now actually I, I it was very important that we actually take this uh dungeon queue here because there is something i want to also show you guys as a part of the update for my alt army now before we actually get into it um i do want to thank all of the patrons over on patreon for supporting me all the time and there's so many names on this list that they can barely fit on the screen anymore uh which is uh, you know not a bad thing but also uh yeah there's a lot of you guys i very much appreciate it and i thank you very much and also if you're interested in the patreon there are some great benefits over there if you want to support me you can also get a little bit out of it which include tsm groups there's also going to be sniping groups uh for materials and a bunch of other items through point blank sniper and auctionator now next to that you can also get a very long document of daily gold making activities for an alt army which is specifically what we're going to talk about today now let's get straight into the video so what you can see right in here right here in front of your eyes is a data for azeroth now this site is something that me and a lot of other people in my community use uh to basically have a uh, an overview of all the characters that we have because we get up to quite an astonishing amount uh, at least some of us now um i have gotten up to the new update is i've gotten up to 136 level 60s um and besides that we also have a bunch of characters around level 50 and a bunch of characters around level 38 now um to basically explain to you guys what the plan is for that big old alt army you can um there is obviously the long document of the gold making activities if you really gonna if you really want to d dive in deep to it but the short explanation is i want to do a bunch of daily crafting cooldowns now these daily crafting cooldowns they uh, both already exist in in terms of obviously living steel and primals and things like that and alchemy and there's a couple other ones but not anything that's like out of notice or really worth it for me especially with the mission tables uh getting the raw gold nerfed now, now, I'm still going to keep a couple characters with the Shadowlands mission table for the polished pet charms because those are still good. But besides that, I'm not going to use a lot of my characters for that. So, when Dragonflight comes out, a lot of the 60s that I have, I will bring them to 70. And then I will do Alchemy and Jewel Crafting. Now, the reason that I picked those two professions especially is because Alchemy is going to get Experimentation, which is Daily Crafts to get new recipes. And not only that, you're also getting transmutes, which have daily cooldowns. And because of that, it's going to be a very good gold source to get things through that because we know that from previous systems that have worked in a similar way. Now with jewel crafting, there's also going to be something similar to what a transmute is. But what it is, is you make a worse quality gem into a better quality gem. So you could take a green one and make it into a blue one. And that is also going to be very great to get rid of some of the lower stock but also on a large scale i'm sure you can save quite a lot of gold with doing that especially with all the new quality tiers in the materials and everything like that so that is a big part of what i'm going to use my alt army for now i will also use my alt army on uh, a lot of old world rares uh, not only for pets but also transmogs and also maybe potentially uh, a couple toys and uh, we're also going to try our chances for mounts, but mounts are obviously a little bit of an outlier because there's not really rares for that. There's more mobs for that. But every once in a while, it doesn't hurt to log in and kill a pack of mobs and see if you get lucky. Um, but that's like the TLDR for how I plan on using uh, my, my alt army when Dragonflight comes out. Now, we are still leveling, and obviously right now, with the way that we're leveling, if you guys have watched any of my other videos, we are leveling with a uh, Twink. Now, this Twink, I took it to level 12. It's originally level 10, which is probably the best case scenario for where you want to be. Now, um, what this does, if you're interested, I'll link my playlist for Twink-related stuff down in the description below. 
a lot of people seem to have very big interest in it so i will obviously put that down in the description below as well so you guys can see it if you're interested but the tldr for this is this is incredibly good right now not only because of the fact that we actually have the anniversary buff which started yesterday from the time of recording this uh well it's only an hour and 30 minutes into the next day so basically the same day for me but that's an eight extra 18 percent on top of the 50 percent already now with phase two of the pre-patch right around the corner only a couple weeks away really it's um actually only yeah actually not this reset but the next reset for the 15th 16th depending on whether or not you're na or eu uh that is where phase two of the pre-patch will be and with that there's going to be uh some experience changes 57 percent experience reduction is going to be added from the leveling process of 10 to 60 you could also say 1 to 60 but uh the differences from 1 to 10 are actually going up instead of down so that's why most people say 10 to 60 um a 57 percent reduction now you would think oh well sand we're all we're getting a 50 percent increased experience buff why is this different well this matters a lot and this is why i talked about the 38 level level 38 characters some levels have higher amounts uh of of percentages than others and from the level of 38 that's when the percentages start getting really high and there's a lot of posts about the experience experience changes uh i will be linking somewhere some link for it probably for a wowhead post or something relating to that so you guys can actually see but as for right now if you want to save as much time as possible and you want to make the slash played on your account no matter if you're boosting like me with a level twink as you're seeing right here in front of your eyes or if you're solo leveling the best place to stop leveling at the moment before phase two of the pre-patch is going to be level 38 so if you're like me and you're obviously leveling a lot of characters at the moment then that is the best place to actually stop leveling uh, and that's what I've been doing with a lot of these characters. Not all of them, but recently for the last, uh, I would say, week, I've actually decided that this was going to be what I was going to do. And uh, we'll see how good it is, obviously, when Phase 2 of the pre-patch comes out. But that's uh, basically the TLDR for what we've been doing very recently. There's never been a better time to actually level than there is right now. Um and that's like the majority of the updates for alt army um obviously right now we're still doing the mission table until the gold goes away and after that we'll be doing the polished pet charms as i was talking about a little bit earlier in the video but besides that our main focus is is actually just leveling more when the expansion comes out but we made it to 136 level 60s uh so far and I'm sure we can actually get a lot more of those characters done because when phase two of the pre-patch comes around, we might actually level some more characters up to 60. It all kind of depends. Uh, I, I think I will make another update on my alt army. Uh, sometime like uh, uh, probably like half a week or a week before. I'm at, oh my God, die here. Probably like half a week or maybe even a week before the expansion comes out. I'll make a final update for Shadowlands for my alt army. Uh, to basically tell you guys how far we got. Um, I'm actually really, really happy with where we've gotten with the alt army. The original goal was getting 250 level 60s. But just in terms of how much time it would take. It just did not seem very feasible with uh, some of my IRL responsibilities. But also with other things that I wanted to do in the game. But still having as many characters as I do right now is absolutely outrageous. And I'm pretty pretty excited about it but uh yeah that's actually most of everything that i had to say in this video i know this was more just of a a talking video uh, an update video on the alt army and this is obviously only really for the people that are interested in that information now i hope you guys still in enjoyed the video anyway uh and uh if you did make sure you drop a like on the video and also well i i will put a word that you guys can type into the comments and the day's word what should it be what should it be uh we're gonna say we're gonna say i really can't pick anything right now gum because i saw gum right here 
Just gum. Yeah, that'll be a good word. I don't know why I picked that, but I've decided that that's going to be the word. So if you watched this far, make sure you put that in the comments below. But that is everything that I had to say in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until the next one, see ya.